In this part of the tutorial, we're going to start filling in faces on the roof guide mesh of the vehicle. But before we do anything, let's take this mesh here, the guide mesh of the body, and let's go into full screen and get out of camera view. I want us to fix this area a bit more. So I'm going to zoom into this area. And let me take the whole thing and I'm going to move it inside to the original position. So to about somewhere there. And just press G and move it in just a little bit more. Now I'm going to use the knife tool by pressing K and I'm going to knife this from here all the way down to about somewhere there. And I'm going to confirm it. Now I'm going to take the whole thing here and let me just press S and an X and scale this out a bit. Or you can just press S and an X and type in zero to flatten it. Now I'm going to slide this up and I'm going to take this and merge it to this last one over here. And I think that should make that area look way much better. Now let's go back to the piece we have up here and start filling in some faces. So I'm going to take this mesh here and then hide it. And I'm going to take this, get out of camera view, I mean full screen, and then get into camera view. And let's zoom into this area. And I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to switch this camera over here to the front view of the car. So I'm going to go over into view and then switch it to say 102 or maybe 103. I'm not sure. I think this should be good. Now let's slide this one to the first image. So if you take a look here, you can see we have an edge running right above the one below it. So an edge running all the way through to the side. I'm going to try and achieve that edge right now. So I'm going to take all of the vertices we have over here. I'm going to press shift in D and move this up in the Z axis onto that edge. And let's zoom into this area and make sure it's sitting directly on that edge. So I want to press G and Y and move this in slightly to about there. I'm going to switch this image to something else. So let me go with maybe 104. Let me try 102 maybe. Yeah, let's go with 102. So I'm just going to move this up a bit more and then move it in a Y just a little bit more. Let me get to the side view and see what this looks like. Okay, very nice. Let me get back to the front view. Now let's make our way to the side. So I'm going to take this vertex and this one and I'm going to press F to fill in the face. Now let's do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to take all of the vertices here from here all the way to there. Let me get into camera view. I'm going to press shift and D and move this in the X axis to about there. Now I'm just going to press G and then Y and move this in slightly to the back like so. Let's take a look at what that looks like in the side view. Very nice. I'm just going to move it out slightly and that should be good. So I'm going to take these two as well and then press F to fill it in. I'm going to slide this one up a bit to about here. I'm going to add one in here. Let me take these two and press F. I'm going to slide this in and press C to constrain the angle and I'm going to slide it out like that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to take these four and press F and I'm going to deselect these two and press F. And then when we get here, we're going to take these four and press F, deselect these two and press F all the way down. I'm just going to add in an extra loop cut in here just so the surface doesn't look flat. I'm going to add in an extra loop cut in there and I'm going to press Alt and S. And I'm going to shrink this out just slightly and that should round it off very nicely. I'm going to shrink it in a little bit more so it's a little more flatter. So you can see the difference. And that's what we're going for. Now let's go down here. I'm going to take one, two, three, four, and I'm going to press F, deselect this. I'm going to press F all the way to about here. Let me zoom into this area. I'm just going to press Ctrl and R in here to add one more, and then maybe slide it up to about here. And I'm going to take these two and press F once. Let me take this and slide it down just a little bit. I'm going to press Ctrl and R to add in two extra loop cuts in here. Left click and then right click. Now let's get into camera view and see how we can shrink this out. I'm just going to switch this camera to a different one. Okay, so this one should be good. So I'm just going to press Alt and S to shrink this out until we have it to about the surface right there like that. Now let me just take the one that is back here. So this one right here and let me get back into camera view and then let me just hit. You know what? Let's make this one the active element and let's switch the pivoting point to active element and let's get back into the camera view. I'm going to press S and an X and then scale this in the X axis until the top area is matching with the reference image like that. And I think that should be good. Okay, let's recalculate the normals. Now let me go back into edit mode and let's take one and then two and press F to fill in an edge between them. Let's make our way back here. 
Now here I think I'm going to take these two and delete the edges and I'm going to fill it between this and this one instead. I'm going to take these two now. Let's get into the camera view and to the side view here. And I'm just going to move this up a bit to about here like that. Let me get out of camera view. Let me just take this and move it down slightly. Okay, very nice. I'm going to take one, two, three, four and press F. Deselect the back two and then press F all the way to there for now. Maybe let's fill it all the way to the back. So let me take these four and press F. Deselect that two and press F to about there maybe for now. I'm going to take these two and press F. Just about the same thing. We're going to fill this all the way to the back there like that. And I'm going to take these two and fill it in to about here. And I'm going to take these four and press F. Deselect these two and press F. Now hold on. I think we need extra vertices in here. I'm going to add in three extra vertices in here. And now we can press F to fill this down to about there. Now let's get back here and take these two and press F. Deselect those two and press F all the way to there. Let me take this face here and delete it for now. So I'm going to say only faces. And I'm going to take these two and delete the edges. I'm going to add in two extra vertices in here. Get to the top view. And let's press G and X and use that to round this off a little better. So something like that. And I want to make sure the spaces between them are even by using the loop tool space option. Now I'm going to take these two and press F once to add in a face in there. And then we can figure out what to do about this area later. Now what we're going to do is to, first of all, let's take these two and press F once. Do the same thing down here, F once. And I think here instead of having four, I'm just going to have three of them here. So let me slide this forward a bit to about here. Let me merge this to the last one here. Let me get into camera view and see what we have here. Okay, let me take this two and slide it in a bit more. So G twice and then C and slide it to about here. And I'm going to take this and slide that out just a little bit. Now let me just press Ctrl and R in here and add in an extra vertex. I'm going to take that vertex and slide it back to match with the one we have down here. Now let me get to the front view or into camera view and see how we can fix this area more. So I'm just going to press G and Z and move this up a bit just so it follows that curve a bit better. Now let me switch the camera to a different one and see how we can fix this more. All right, so I'm going to press G and X and move this out slightly like that. Now I'm going to take these two and press F once. Now I'm going to take these two as well and press F once. Now I'm going to take this vertex here. I'm going to extrude it all the way to the X axis until it merges in the center. I'm going to press G and then Y until it matches with the edge we have over here. And let's add in four extra loop cuts in this area and better define this curve. So I'm just going to take this press G and Y and move this back to define the curve a bit more. I'm going to do the same thing for the rest we have over here. Now let's get out of full screen and see how we can match this in the other images we have in our viewport. All right, so let's start with this side. So I'm going to take this press G and Z and move this up to about there. I'm going to align all the vertices onto that edge we have at the top. Let me just add in an extra vertex in here, slide it to the right a bit, and then move it up just slightly like that. Now let's get over here and move this in a Y to match those edges again. Now we're going to have to move this down again. Now we're going to have to move it in a Y again over here. And then move this up a bit and that should be it. Now let's get out of camera view and into full screen. And let's take one, two, three, four and press F. Deselect the two we have on the left and then press F all the way to the right side to about here. I think we'll need an extra edge loop here. So we're going to press E to align it with the one on the right and move it close like that. Let me get back into camera view and see what we have. Okay. I think I'm going to make this one straight. So I'm going to use the knife tool to cut it from here to the top. Or better yet, let's just slide things around just so we don't cause any issues. So I'm just going to slide it around until it's straight. Now let me just take these two and press F once. Now let's take a look at this area. I think I want to define this curve here with two vertices instead of one. So I want to dissolve this vertex here. And then let's take these two and press F once. Now we're going to add in two extra loop cuts in here. Now let's get to the side and then press Alt and S and shrink this until we have it rounded like that. Now let's get into camera view and see what this looks like in the reference images. Now as you can see, it's looking good. Let me take these two and slide it in a bit. 
take that one slide that in let's switch the image and see what that looks like okay i think i'm gonna move this up a bit maybe move this down a little bit let me slide the image to see what we have let me move this out a bit more let's switch the image see what we have okay I think that is looking much better now. Now let's see how we can connect these two edge loops here with the ones we have over here. I'm just going to press Ctrl and R and add in two extra loop cuts of vertices in here. And we're going to take these two and press F. I'm going to take this vertex. Let's press G and X and move it out until it is matching with that line we have over here. Let's move it out just a bit more. And let's flatten these ones a bit. So let me just press G and then X and move it out. Same thing here, G and X, and move it out a little bit. Maybe this one as well. Now let's take this, press G and X, and move that out a little bit as well. So to about somewhere there. I'm going to slide this in a bit. Let me get to the side view and see what we have here. Let me just shrink or slide this up a bit. So G twice and then C. I'm going to slide this up to about there. We'll take these two as well, slide that up a bit to about there. Just so we have that nice curve going on. I'm just going to do this one a little bit more and move this up a bit. And that should be looking quite good. I'm going to take these four and press F. And let's take these two and press F once. Oh, these four and press F once. Okay, looking good. Now let me take these two and press F twice. And I'm going to take these edges here. So take all that edge, make sure the one below is the active element. And then let's press S and X and shrink this in. A bit like that. I want to shrink it out just a bit more. Let me slide this in to about somewhere here. Let me take these two over here and slide it back a bit to about here. Take this and slide that up a bit to about there. Make sure they have even space between them by using loop tools. Now here I'm also going to add in two extra loop cuts in here. But in this case what we're going to do is to just press Ctrl B and then bevel this so we have two loop cuts in there. I'm just going to use the loop tools to make sure the spaces between them are even. Now I want to press Ctrl and R in here and add in two extra loop cuts. Now let's get into the camera view and switch to an image that can help us do this. I'm going to get this one right here and I'm going to press Alt and an S and shrink this out until we have it rounded like that. Now let's take these two and press F to fill in all those faces we have there. Let me just even out the spaces here like that. Maybe this one as well, maybe this as well. Let's make our way to the back now and see what we have. Let me press Ctrl and R in here and add in two extra loop cuts like that. Let me go into full screen. I'm going to take this and then this and press F to add in an edge between those two. I'm going to press Ctrl and R in here to add in two vertices like that. I'm going to slide them up a bit. Now let me just take these four and press F. Take these two and press F once. I'm going to take these four and press F and take these two and press F once or twice. Now let's see how we can fix this area. So I'm going to take this and press Alt and S and shrink this out a bit. I'm going to take this one as well, Alt and S and shrink this out a bit like that. Now let me take this, press Alt and S and shrink that out just a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing here and shrink it out just a little bit. 